Good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank you for, for joining us for an exciting announcement. Uh, I am pleased to be joined today by Dan Richardson, who, am I, who I am appointing to be the next city attorney for the city of Burlington. Joining Dan today is, is his family, and uh, we have here his wife, Britt, there she is, as well as uh, his children, Vaughn and Emery. There's Vaughn. And, uh, and even Dan's mother-in-law, Julie, is here as well, all the way from <laughs> Florida, which is great that she could join us. Um, Dan brings almost two decades of experience to the city team and is really, frankly, one of the most highly qualified attorneys in the entire state of Vermont for this appointment. Um, most recently, Dan has been serving as a partner at Tarrant, Gillies, Richardson, and Shems as an, and as an adjunct professor at the Vermont Law School, where he created the school's first municipal law course, which I really think speaks to um, the municipal, explicit municipal law experience that Dan has that very few other attorneys have in the state. Dan graduated from Vermont Law School in 2003, and he was also the editor-in-chief of the Vermont Law Review during his years there. Um, Dan clerked for the Honorable Matthew Katz and the Honorable Richard Norton in the Chittenden Superior Court, another connection to this area. And he began um, as an associate in his firm, Tarrant, Gillies, Richardson and Shems in 2005 and became partner in 2009. There he pra has practiced civil litigation, municipal land use, Act 250, zoning, energy law, real estate law, and has represented over 20 municipalities across Vermont. Dan has also had a um, number of community, important community service positions, including for the Vermont Superior Court since uh, 2003. He's, he's served in, a, in several roles, including the acting judge of Washington County Small Claims Court since 2011. And impressively to me, he has served as both the president, he's served as the president of both the Vermont Bar Association and the Vermont Bar Foundation. Dan even, and I'm thinking, I'm hoping this is something Burlington City Councilors like, he's even had the experience of serving as a city councilor as he has been on the Montpelier City Council since 2020. Um, that is a position that, um, so there's no question about divided municipal loyalties. Dan will be <laughs> stepping down from that position uh, if and when he is approved by the city council, confirmed by the city council for this position. Uh, which I'm asking them to do this coming Monday. Um, Dan has met with a number of the city councilors. We've been in communication with them and we're asking them to appoint this critical uh, uh, appointment this coming Monday. Um, you know, I think Dan's uh, vast experience uh, makes him uh, an outstanding candidate for this critical position of city attorney. Dan, we don't have like uh, baseball caps here when we uh, ask people to join the team, but we do have happy to say is we have these um, city flag pins All right. and so w welcome aboard thank you for your willingness to serve the people of Burlington I know that your municipal law knowledge your skills in litigation and mediation your professional integrity and superior work ethic will make you an outstanding leader for the city attorney's office uh, I know that the assistant city attorneys um, here in uh, City Hall feels similarly, and a number of them have joined us, including our acting city attorney, uh, uh, Justin. And uh, I want to thank Justin for um, his, being willing to serve again in this uh, acting role. And I know how eager you are to see it, uh, it, it end. So uh, I want to thank the whole city attorney crew that has um, been uh, really pulling together to help us through this transition, understaffed at a very busy time. And thank you all for being here today and being part of this announcement. Um, with that, Dan, I'm pleased to welcome you to the city team. And I know that Burlingtonians will benefit greatly from your work and uh, the podium is yours to share a few words if you like. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep my remarks short, but I, I first of all want to thank uh, Mayor Weinberger for this incredible honor. Uh, if you practice municipal law in Vermont, this is the pinnacle uh, of practicing municipal law here in Burlington. Uh, it is an amazing city. It is an amazing legal department. I've said many times to both the staff and anyone who's asked me, 
that this is probably second to the AG's office, the most impressive public sector legal team in the state of Vermont. And I'm just incredibly awed to have the opportunity to join it. Um, I began my legal career right across Caddy Corner at Chittenden Superior Court. Um, and it, I can say honestly that Burlington shaped me into the lawyer I became. Uh, and it has been 16 years that I have sought to come back to this city uh, to practice law. I thought it would be sooner. I'm sorry the street crossing took a little bit longer, but I am more than happy to be here. I'm more than excited to be here. Uh, it is a fantastic opportunity, and I'm just uh, tickled to have the, to be here, standing here with this flag pin on my lapel today. Uh, and I'm looking forward to serving the, the people and citizens of the city of Burlington as their city attorney. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. Uh, we'd be happy to answer questions if there are any. Um, Dan, hi. Yes. Hi. Um, I was curious if you could speak a little bit about what your philosophy is for approaching this work um, at the municipal level. How are you sure. going to approach this work and, and how are you going to approach being transparent about the work that you do? Uh, a public records question, if I ever heard one. Um, so my philosophy, at least in representing municipalities, is oftentimes the city attorney is the risk manager for the city. Uh, so a lot of times I see myself as giving advice as far as, you know, what is the law? What are the parameters? Um, when there are policy questions or issues, trying to give sort of a full, uh, full flavor of the legal options available. And if, if a city wants to move in a particular direction, you know, at some point in time that slips into advocacy and, you know, representing the city. It is both counsel and advocacy. In, in these positions. Now, as far as transparency goes, you know, I, I'm a big believer in the public records law, and, you know, I, I certainly uh, think that it's, it has an important function in making sure that what we do as a city is, is transparent, um, but there are exemptions, and, you know, we, we live with those and we work within those, and uh, part of my role as city attorney is to, you know, essentially f act as an umpire, to say, you know, this is something that's allowable in the public realm, uh, and this is something that isn't. And I often try and explain, you know, if, for example, you can't have a, a public record because of an exemption, why? And, and to work with either the requester or the agency. And so, you know, I, I like to make sure that I see my job as making sure that the law is explained and, and understood and not just simply dictated. Um, do you have any specific goals or ambitions for the position? Well, uh, I mean, my first goal is to get appointed, uh, fully confirmed. Uh, but I would say that, you know, I think there's a lot of ambitious ideas in the city of Burlington, a lot of challenges that the city is facing. And so part of what my, my goal is to make sure that the, the city's goals are uh, carried forward in a lay, way that's consistent with the law. So. Any, anyone else uh, have uh, any, any questions? Okay. Sure. Well, you know, there are always, when you represent a client, especially a municipality, there are the goals that you, you come, with, come in with thinking, and then there are goals that are presented to you because of necessity. Uh, obviously, the city's facing, uh, a, you know, a series of challenges that have, um, you know, been in, in the papers, but a lot of them have been resolved. And I'm very fortunate, I think, uh, Eileen Blackwood, whose, whose shoes I step in to here, and I can only hope to fill the very large shoes uh, because of her incredible work it has resolved a number of them uh, but I fully expect that you know there's there's always something new that that comes up uh, and you know it will be embracing both of those you know the city attorney's position is kind of interesting in that you know it's not my it's not my place to set policy but it is my my role to help make sure that the policy that the elected officials do seek to implement is done so in a manner it's consistent with both state federal and local laws Great. So, thank you for being here. Appreciate you coming out. Yeah. And uh, uh, Charlie, thank you for Channel 17 being here. Anything you want to ask? Good. Thank you. And uh, we'll see everybody Monday. Big city council meeting. So, awesome. thank you all. Good. Okay. All right.